The controversy surrounding the two cab companies, Uber and Lyft, may soon be clearing up, but both companies have been operating illegally because they fail to comply with city rules in place for traditional taxi cab companies. Yeah, Alderman Scott Resnick introduced an ordinance this spring that would allow them to work legally, and now Mayor Paul Soglin seems to be following suit. And News 3's Leah Linshide joins us now with more on this story, Leah. Yeah, Eric and Michelle, cities like Milwaukee, Chicago, and Minneapolis have all legalized operations for Uber and Lyft. And soon, Madison could be added to that list if the companies are willing to play by the mayor's rules. For the first time since Uber and Lyft showed up on Madison streets, you realize Mayor Paul Soglin is offering some board. options to operate legally. What's primary in terms of concern is public safety, protection of consumers, and the protection of, of full-time jobs. I just want to repeat. Soglin announced a proposal Friday that would allow Uber and Lyft to act as taxi cabs in the city. Provided they follow some ground rules. Those include requiring the services to open a Madison office and operate 24-7. If we don't require it, we are going to see taxi cab companies, TNCs, only providing service during prime hours. The proposal follows a similar ordinance introduced by Alderman and mayoral candidate Scott Resnick this past spring. His law would require Uber and Lyft to operate around the clock over time, not immediately. We want to ensure that the public has companies that are committed to serving them all of the time in every neighborhood. Mayor Soglin will introduce his proposal to the Pedestrian and Transportation Committee in the coming weeks before it's taken to the full city council. And we reached out to both Uber and Lyft for comment this afternoon, and Lyft responded with a statement that read in part, the ordinance was crafted without any input from the ride-sharing community, and the regulations do not increase public safety or consumer choice. Mayor Soglin says his proposal should reach the full city council by October or November. All right, we'll see where it goes from here. Leah Lynchad reporting. Leah, thank you very yeah. much.